Pads Professional is a powerful routing environment powered by Expedition technology. One of the most important windows in Pads Professional is the display control. Through this window, you can set the visibility and selectability of many different design objects. In the Edit tab, you can turn on or off different layers of the design, as well as set the color for each design layer. You can also turn off the visibility of placement objects as well as routing objects. Here you can also set the selectability of different design objects very similar to the right mouse button selection filter in pads layout. Here I can select all of the traces as well as the via but when I turn off the selection box for traces I can no longer select traces. In the Objects tab, you can set the display of design objects such as placement objects, vias, pins, netlines, and planes. In the Graphics tab, you can change the display of graphic objects like grids and color options for groups or net classes that you have defined. Use the Fab tab to change the display of fabrication objects and drafting layers. The DRC tab is used to change the display of different DRC hazard markers. It can be difficult to find the exact setting that you are looking for, so if you click right below the tab names and start typing, you will be able to search through the entire display control. For example, I look for net names on traces, and it highlights that selection in the graphic tab. If I check this box it will place the net names on those traces. If you have settings that you use all the time and like to save them right click and say add to favorites. Now under the edit tab in the favorites section will be all of your favorite objects. At the bottom of the display control at the pull down menu are schemes. Schemes are saved settings that drastically change how the design looks. This can affect design layers as well as selection and visibility of all design objects. These schemes can be user defined and saved to disk as well as loaded into other PCB designs. Placement in Pads Professional utilizes the component explorer shown on the left hand side of the screen. In the Component Explorer, you can see all of the different parts that need to be placed in the design, as well as a few of their properties. You have the ability to do a preview of each different cell. And then when you are ready to place a cell onto the design, you just select it in the Component Explorer and drag and drop onto the design. You also have the ability to place components by their group or cluster. You can click on the group or cluster in the Component Explorer and drag and drop it onto the layout. The cluster can be defined either in the layout or by adding a property in the schematic. If you drag multiple clusters onto the board, you can see the interconnectivity marked between those different groups. After a cluster has been placed, there are multiple ways to place the components on the board that are inside of it. You can drag and drop from the Component Explorer again, or you can right click and say arrange on either one level or all levels. This will automatically place the components and you can place it on the board. Then when you drag another cluster you can still see the interconnectivity between these two groups. For routing in Paths Professional we can use the Net Explorer shown on the left hand side of the screen. Here you can see every single net that needs to be routed in the design. If you click on one or multiple nets, you can see them highlight in the layout. You can also see all of the net classes in the design, and once again, if you click on any of the net classes, they will highlight in the design as well. You can also see the different constraint classes that have been defined, as well as any differential pairs or match length nets. The Net Explorer is cross-probable to the layout, so if I select a group of nets in the layout, they will be selected in the Net Explorer as well. Here I click on the flag in the Net Explorer to mark the nets. Then I select From Mark Nets in the Display Control to only display the nets that I have marked in the layout. 
This allows for us to work with only the nets we would like to route at one time. One of the most powerful features in Pads Professional is sketch routing. With those net lines selected, I draw a sketch and hit sketch route. The router does its best to route those traces following that sketch path on the layer selected. One net did not get routed, so I change layers, hit draw sketch and reuse that last sketch path that I drew and route it again. See how quickly I routed that entire bus. The sketch router also has the ability to place a via pattern while routing. I start the sketch path on layer 5 and hit F2 to add a via pattern. Inside the octagon you can see that it goes from layer 5 to layer 6. I continue drawing which has changed to purple showing that we're on layer 6 and hit sketch route. You can change the via pattern to suit your needs. The sketch router does its best to follow the path as closely as possible, even if it is very long and meandering. I draw this path all the way around U12 and hit sketch route. You can see that it follows that path very closely. I can finish routing the net lines that weren't routed by changing the layer, reusing that sketch path, and sketch routing it. Paths Professional can route differential pairs very easily. I begin routing off of one pin of a differential pair and it automatically grabs both netlines of the pair. It also shows a tuning meter that updates in real time as I continue routing this differential pair. As I finish the traces, we know that we did not meet the target length and we will have to do some tuning. I select both of the traces and hit manual tune on the toolbar. This automatically inserts an accordion which I can drag around and make sure is in the correct spot for our design. I can also use the grab handles to increase the amplitude or increase the length of the accordion. When I do either of these options, you can see that the tuning meter updates in real time and turns green when we are within our target length. If I try and move the accordion on other component pads, you can see that it follows DRC guidelines and pushes itself out of the way. Pads Professional also has the ability to do bus routing. I select four net lines and hit F3 to begin routing. You can see that all of the traces have been pulled off the pins. As I go around and click, it sets anchor points and continues routing all four traces. I can click on one of the ending pins and all four traces will be completed. Pads Professional allows for dynamic plane generation. I can create a plane object, select the layer and net that it is associated to. I select the F9 action key and draw a rectangle for the plane shape. It automatically generates all of the copper in that plane shape. I can select this shape and move it around to different areas in the design or use the grab handles and change the size of it. This plane shape automatically adheres to all DRC guidelines and automatically inserts thermal ties for pins tied to this plane. If I begin routing a trace on this layer, you can see that the trace will be routed through the copper and the clearance that is necessary will automatically be placed as well. You can edit the thermal ties on the fly by right clicking on the pad and placing a thermal override. Here we can change the number of tie legs that you want on that pad. Pads Professional does its best to keep the same number of thermal ties on that pad even when close to other traces. If I begin routing a trace and get close to those thermal ties, you can see that it pushes those ties and tries to maintain the number that was defined. Pads Professional utilizes the integrated flow, so all design constraints are entered in a spreadsheet-based system known as the Constraint Manager. This is an in-depth tool that I will not be covering in this video, but you can see that it is cross-probable between the layout and the nets selected in the constraint management tool. Pass Professional offers an advanced layout environment that will meet all of your design needs. I'm PADS application engineer Kyle Lake. Thanks for watching.